how do you know when you're ready for a VA? So lots of things to consider. Um, cost is usually on everybody's mind. Like what is a virtual assistant gonna cost me? Um, everybody's gonna charge different, whether you're hiring an independent or whether you're going through an agency. Um, so it's really no different than a maid service. You have you know big companies that don't charge a lot and then you've got little you know, individual um, solopreneurs that charge, you know, an arm and a leg for their services. So one thing for sure is never assume that you can't afford one. Do your research, ask, you know, the big companies, ask the medium companies, ask, you know, the independent um, virtual assistants how much they charge. And it might be more affordable than, than you realize. Um, your current size. So you may be a startup um, without even a launch date or you just open your doors. Um, or you might be a, a huge business. Your size is honestly going to dictate um, whether you want a virtual assistant and if that's a good solution for you or not. Um, you'll also want to consider the time that you spend in your business. Um, and that's going to be pretty important if you already have everything set up. You have your office managers in place. Maybe you have a field manager. You know, maybe you don't spend a lot of time in your business but feel like it's it's really running well, you may not need a virtual assistant and, and that's okay. You should also definitely consider what you want your end goal to be. And so what I mean by that is you might be in a place where it is really, really important for you to just do the work on your own. It is never a bad thing for you to kind of roll up your sleeves and you know, get in there, get in there with the staff, you know, answer phones, clean some dirty houses with them. Um, obviously, you don't want to do that. You definitely don't want to stay out in the field. But, you know, if you're in a place in your business where those things are important, then you might not need to hire. Uh, and also, you know, take into consideration that if you happen to be somebody who, you know, wants to be very free of their business, um, hiring a virtual assistant may be the perfect solution for you. Um, with different things to take in consideration, always take, take into consideration like your own workload, making sure that, you know, you're not getting burnt out because you've got too much going on, you're too stressed, you know, stretched thin, all of those good things. Um, for a large established company, you might decide that your office manager is getting, you know, is wearing a little bit too many hats and she's starting to, you know, slack on some things. If those types of warning signs are going on in your business, it really might be time to hire a virtual assistant as a solution.